All right, this video is for Math Expressions, Chapter 5, Lesson 5, which is on the customary um, measures of weight and liquid volume. So using our customary system of measurement here in the United States. Uh, so the first thing we're going to talk about is weight. Uh, ounces are very, very, very light. Um, about the weight of a, co of a coin, like what you see there. Uh, pounds are, you know, smaller objects um, to medium-sized objects. They definitely are the most common system that we use to measure with is in pounds. And so here's a little dumbbell to kind of give you an example of pounds. And then a ton. Uh, tons are used for things that are extremely heavy, like tanks, uh, big ships, uh, stuff like that, like really, really heavy stuff. Uh, really, there's not much to this. Uh, the conversions are very, very simple. Um, one pound is 16 ounces, and one ton is 2,000 pounds. So once again, you're going to want to use that um, knowledge to figure out the rest of this. So uh, to figure these out, once again, you just take uh, the basic relationship, which can be found here, and then use that to multiply by how many pounds you have. So if I'm doing uh, two pounds, I'm going to do 16 times two, which, oops, sorry about that which is 32 and then uh, really you can multiply 16 times 3 or if you see it in a pattern here you could just add on another 16 if you wanted to and that's going to be 48 and then uh, 4 times 16 um, that would be 40 plus 6 times 4 is 24 and that would give me 64 so uh, there you have it is just um, once again filling in that double column uh, very important that the kids know how to do that the next one would be nine tons and equals how many pounds so here's an example where once again you want to go back to the relationships uh, found previously and, and find out how, what the basic relationship is so if I go back I know that one ton is equal to two thousand pounds and that's the abbreviation for pounds. I'm, I'm not sure where the LBS came from, but that's the abbreviation for pounds. So if I know this information, then I can use this to solve for my equation that I have. So I take my pounds, 2,000, and I want to multiply that by how many tons I'm look, I have. So I multiply that by, by 9. So if you just quickly do the math, I have three zeros, and 9 times 2 is 18. So I have 18,000 pounds. Wow, that's heavy. So the next part of the lesson is talking about liquid volume. Now this gets a little bit more intense. Oh, definitely a lot more complicated um, the objects that we use them for and everything else. But fluid ounces are definitely a very small amount of liquid. So it would be like how much nail polish is in a nail polish container. It is not a lot. Um, so it's a very small container. That's why it's fluid ounces. Cups, of course you guys should know what cups are by now. Um, you know, we, we use those to drink and everything else. Uh, pint. Um, and here's just a, kind of like a little carton, right? A carton of milk, a uh, carton of orange juice here in the pitcher. They're smaller cartons. It's kind of like what you guys do for, at lunchtime. Those little things of uh, chocolate milk or white milk, those are pints. Now, quarts are a little bit bigger. Um, you, your parents might be buying quarts of juice or quarts of milk in containers that look like this. Um, little, not as common, but if, especially if you don't want a full gallon of milk, sometimes you'll buy a quart instead. And then a, a gallon, of course, is very, very common, um, such as milk, you know, a gallon of milk, a gallon of chocolate milk, whatever you want to buy it in, um, apple cider, you know, whatever. Uh, but bigger, you know, larger, definitely the biggest amount of liquid out there. Um, the conversions for this uh, definitely can get a little bit confusing, especially when you have to go from quart to cups. I'm sorry, from cups to quarts or pints to gallons, that you really have to really pay attention to the basic relationships to figure out the hard ones. But, uh, you know, in one cup you have eight fluid ounces, then you have two cups and a pint, four cups and a quart, and four quarts and a gallon. Uh, so, you know, you just got to kind of figure that out and use use this uh, heavily. Uh, keep this in front of you um, when you're doing it in class, for sure, or at home for homework. But uh, they use a lot of abbreviations, by the way. So um, you really want to, you know, just when you see these, you just have to kind of understand what it means um, for what it's asking you to do. So here we have a situation where um, I want to know uh, how many fluid ounces are in these quarts. Well, um, I know that there are 32 
fluid ounces in a quart, and they're they're going to give you that first one. So you, basically, what you what they're looking for is can you use that basic information to solve for the rest of it here. And once again, it's the same pattern that we've been doing since the first lesson of this chapter is use what you know to figure out what you don't know. So if I have 32 ounces in one quart, then in two quarts, I'm just going to double that. 32 times 2 is 64. So I know there are 64 fluid ounces in two quarts. So for three, um, I can just take my 32 and multiply by 3. Or what you could do is just add on another 32 ounces to 64. Either way will work, but 32 times 3 is 96. And once again, if you didn't know that, you can just, you know, scratch it off to the side here and just quickly do it. So I'm going to do 32 times 4. And, you know, by this point, we can do old school. So 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, and that's 128. Alright, so filling out that double column again. Alright, so here's an interesting situation where um, I need to know how many quarts, or I'm sorry, how many cups are in a quart. So, um, I know from my relationship that I have one quart equals four cups. And I found this relationship on my relationship sheet, my cheat sheet that I gave you. All right, so we're going to use that information to figure out how many cups, therefore, would be in three. So as always, you just take the basic relationship that you have, and then you want to multiply by how many quarts you have. So this one is just a very simple three quarts times four cups each is going to give you 12. So our answer is 12 cups. So here's another quick one. So gallons and pints. So um, this one, I don't know exactly how many pints are in a gallon. I don't have that out on my cheat sheet. But what I do know and what you have to use is I do know how many pints are in a quart and I also know how many quarts are in a gallon. So let's kind of follow along what's going on here. So I know that in one quart there are, let's see, looking at my chart. Oh, actually, I don't know that. Hold on. Actually, it is on their uh, conversion sheet. Sorry, I missed it the first time. It says on your conversion sheet that one quart equals two pints. Okay? But I also know that one gallon is equal to... Actually, it is on your conversion sheet, gallons and pints. But anyway, we'll just do it the hard way. So I know that one gallon is equal to four quarts as well. So all I have to do is, if I know that there are four quarts in a gallon and there's two pints in each quart, this right here will tell me that in one gallon there are eight pints. So I can use this key relationship to solve the problem. So if I have eight pints in, two, in one gallon, then in two gallons I'm going to have 16 pints. All right, so use that conversion cheat sheet to really, really help you out um, and save yourself all the headache that I had right here. Good luck.